beautiful and complex, the mineral zeolite has amazing properties. For more than 50 years, chemist Edith Flanagan transformed industries through her work with synthetic zeolites and molecular sieves. Flanagan's story began in Buffalo, New York. She and her sisters were introduced to chemistry by an inspiring nun at Holy Angels Academy. She used hands-on laboratory kind of teaching, not just lecturing. And I think that probably was the thing that really turned me on. After college, the Flanagan sisters became chemists at Union Carbide. But it was Edith who stayed to launch a career with silicate chemistry and molecular sieve materials. When I first got into the molecular sieve synthesis group at the Lindy Laboratory in Tatawanda, they had just discovered a material called zeolite Y, but it was very difficult to make. My first job was to try and make it reproducibly in as cheap a way as you could make it. Molecular sieves are tiny crystals with pores that trap specific molecules and separate complex substances. They work by selectively ferreting out molecules according to size. Union Carbide decided to develop it as a new business. And in the unbelievably short time of five years for industry, they started a new business manufacturing and selling zeolite and lecture sieves. In the 1970s, Flanagan was challenged to invent the next generation of molecular sieves. She and her team explored all the elements to look for new molecular compositions. And we never had a challenge like that. We always thought if we made one new material, that would be great. If we made two, that would be even greater. But here he was asking us for a whole new generation of materials. And they succeeded. Flanagan's molecular sieves proved critical to refine crude oil into gasoline. Today's $2 billion market for synthetic zeolites includes petrochemicals, laundry detergents, and battlefield medical kits for blood clotting. Now as UOP, Flanagan's innovations have also found their way into new refining processes. And today, zeolite technology is being used to purify the contaminated water from the Fukushima nuclear accident in Japan. It's exciting. If you make something new, it's exhilarating. So. I stuck to it. 